Hi, thank you for joining the webinar on how to share an assignment and then view those reports. So anytime you have an assignment, when you check the box in front of it, you see share come up. So after you've created the assignment, added the key, and added standards, however you need to create that assignment, then I'm going to go down and I'm going to share. Now under share you have three permissions that you can use. Scan scan means the teacher will scan the assignment. When they log in, they'll see the assignment in their list. And they after they scan, they only see their data. View reports would be administrators, curriculum directors, department chairs, anyone that does not need to scan the assignment. They will just go in and they will see those under their reports tab. Since they're not scanning, they don't need to see anything under their assignments. But when you give them permission to view reports, they go to reports, and the assignment will be there as well. Can scan and view will allow the teacher, or can scan and reports, excuse me, will allow the teacher to scan, and then once they've scanned, they will also be able to view all data of all teachers that have also scanned in that assignment. So if you have PLCs, a team teaching things like that, uh, integrated uh, um, teachers that need to see from IEP students, they're able to also scan and view reports as well. So once you, I'm going to type in a teacher's name and then I'm going to share, I'm going to allow her to see scan and view reports and then you can also go down through here and add some other ones. Every time you start to type in their name you'll get those choices. If you created groups, you can also search for math groups. So I have fifth grade math, so I would choose that. And I have six teachers connected to that group. Once I choose fifth grade math, then all those six teachers will be shared with this assignment. That way I don't have to go in and type all six names. So you can also create groups in the background. That is an admin function. So they'd be able to keep, create your group and then you can share with your group. So once you've shared and everyone has gone in and created and have scanned their key, so now I'm going to go down to one that I know has been shared. And when you go in, now you're going to be able to view that shared data. One thing you need to make sure is down here on the filter that you change it from my class to any class. Because if it stays on my class, you're not going to get any of that shared data. So then when I go to Teachers Overview, you're going to see all the teachers that I've scanned by question. Let me go back and choose actually another assignment so you can see a little bit more. I believe I have multiple teachers on this one. Again, make sure it says any class. And then you can see all the filters here on the left. I can go in by teachers, teacher overview, by question. I can also do students. So all the students that were scanned in that assignment, I'll be able to see as well. So, and you can filter by gender if you have this, the demographics here that you've added to your account. So once you've shared that, the, the main thing is to make sure that it's any class here so that you're not just looking at your classes. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at support at gradecam.com and also you can call 866-472-3339 and I'm extension 703 or option 3. Thanks a lot.